hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi welcome my name is leah um before we get started today's verse of the day is isaiah 25 verse 1 lord you are my god i will exalt you and praise your name for in perfect faithfulness you have done wonderful things things planned long ago um so i just want to take the time to give praise to our lord and um he comforts me in his love and i want to share that so i pray that you guys search for him and that you guys um understand that all i'm trying to do when i do these verses is to spread god's word and i hope that it touches you i hope that it speaks to you and i just pray that god does wonderful works in your life whoever's listening to this so yeah thank you father god for everything that you've done i love you and i'm so overwhelmed in your joy and i pray for whoever's listening to this i pray that it touches their heart so thank you father god for giving me this opportunity and yeah, let's get into this video. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so what you guys saw in that last clip was me pushing back my cuticles with the cuticle pusher. Um, this is how I prep my nails for Gelex. I realized that I've never shown you guys how I did that, so you guys will be seeing that now. Um, I'm going to be going in with this cuticle drill, cuticle ball drill bit. Um, and I'm going to gently just go around my cuticles. As you can see, it's getting up a lot of that dead skin and it's really just pushing my cuticles back. I have not done my nails in a while. I, I know it's been a minute since I posted a video, so I apologize for that. But um, you're going to see when I go in with the cuticle nippers that I have a lot of dead skin and, and I'm just getting all that up. So when I do my gel -X, um, it lasts longer. Okay, so now we just got some cuticle clippers and we're just going to go in and get all that excess dead skin off. Um, as you can see, that cuticle ball nail bit that I used, um, it lifted all of my skin. Um, and it just makes my job so much easier when clipping around the cuticles and clipping off that dead skin. I recommend you doing this step because not only does it just look a lot cleaner, um, but it also helps for your gel -X to last longer. So definitely recommend doing this step. Um, and then we're going to go in with the sanding bit and we're just going to gently buff the natural nail. Um, yeah, just get all that shiny, oily off of um, the top of your nail. You're also going to see me go around the cuticle again with this. Um, I just use this to just get anything that I might have missed. Um, yeah, I'm kind of buffing all that off, so... Okay, so now we're going to be using this flash curing light um, along with these Unigella nail tips. I like these nail tips because they're already buffed in the inside, so you don't have to do that step um, like you would do kind of like any other uh, Gel X nail tips. Um, but yeah, we're going to be going in with this Beatles nail glue and we're going to just put a little bit on there and then I just kind of wipe the excess that's on the brush on the tip. And then we're going to gently just pull it at an angle and push down lightly. Um, and then we're going to cure it with the lights for 30 seconds. Um, and you're going to do this to every every nail. Um, 
And at the end of it, you want to just cure the whole hand for about 60 seconds under um, a big lamp. Okay, so after sealing the cuticle area, um, I'm just going to go in with this nail buffer and gently buff the nails. Um, and then we're going to go in with some alcohol wipes and just wipe off that excess dust that might be on there. Okay, so now we're going to be going in with this base coat in the shade 22. Um, I got this off of Amazon and I use this for mainly majority of my um, French sets. But we're going to do this pink color and I'm going to do about three coats. I think I did three coats of this, yeah. And you want to make sure you cure for um, 60 seconds each um, coat. Thank you. 
Okay, so these are what the nails look like after doing three coats. Um, and again, you want to make sure you cure each of those for 60 seconds. Now we're going to be going in with these um, colors that I got from Model 1s. And um, I chose these four colors. I just feel like this gives me um, summer vibes. So these are the colors that I chose. I think it's super fun um, and just different. Um, so yeah, we're going to go in with these four colors. You see that I'm placing each um, of them on a palette. And then you want to make sure that you have a liner brush and an ombre brush when doing this set. Because um, that's how we're going to kind of get that like... Um, Kind of like that sunset effect to it. Okay, so now that we have our colors, we're going to go in with a liner brush and dip it into that yellow um, gel polish color. And we're going to be doing just a standard French tip. Um, the only difference is we're not going to be filling it all in with that yellow. We're going to be filling it in with the different colors that we chose. So... Yeah, you just want to make sure that that, that um, arch is sh um, sharp and yeah, see, I'm filling in a little bit with the yellow and then we're going to go in with the orange, the pink, and then the last would be the purple. Okay, so all I did was go in and draw some lines and fill in with those colors. Now I'm going to be going in with an ombre brush and it has nothing on it, no product, um, just the ombre brush. And we're just going to blend in all those colors. This does not have to be perfect only because you want it to look, um, you just want the colors to blend in with each other and kind of ombre together. So yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. I definitely didn't... Um, I just I just blended it in the best that I could and you're gonna see that it gives that sunset effect and I just think this is very fun this is very summer um, so yeah just go in blend that and then um, we're gonna cure all of the nails at the end
Okay, so we're going to cure that for 60 seconds. Um, and then we're going to go on with some base coat. And I'm just doing the base coat because um, I'm doing some chrome. So I usually would buff this part, but it's just going to take off all that polish that I did. So I'm putting the uh, base coat on top of it to, to not mess up um, all those colors that I did. So the base coat kind of just just protects that um, gel polish um, and yeah so we're gonna buff all the shininess off of that base coat after curing it and then um, you're gonna see me go in with some black gel polish to start our chrome okay so we just cured that base coat now we're gonna go in with our buffer and we're just gonna gently buff off that shiny layer um, and as you can see there it is not scraping off any of that gel polish that I put on there so that's why we did the base coat to kind of protect it um, but yeah we're gonna buff all those nails and then go in with an alcohol wipe and just get all that excess dust that is left over Okay, so now that we buffed those and cleaned them, um, we're going to go in with some black gel polish and a liner brush and we're just going to draw some abstract lines um, just to kind of make the nails a little bit more different. Um, but yeah, we're just going to do, you guys can do whatever you want, just freestyle it. Um, but I'm just going to be doing some abstract lines, filling that in with the black and then we're going to do this to each of the nails. And then we're going to cure it for 60 seconds and then after that we'll go in with the chrome. So once we cured all that gel polish, um, we're just going to go in with some silver chrome powder. And this is a color I'm going to be using on top of that black. Um, we're just going to gently dab it into the powder and fill in that on top of that um, black gel polish. And once you're all finished doing this, you don't need to cure it or um, do anything else to it. We're going to dust off all that excess powder and you're going to see that it doesn't leave any residue any other place except for on that black gel polish so that's a cool thing about um chrome when you buff the nails it's um important that you do that step so it only sticks to the shiny layer on your nail Okay, so once we dust off that excess chrome powder, um, 
we're going to go in with some top coat and we're just going to polish each of the nails and then we're going to cure it for 60 seconds <music> Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you guys love these as much as I did. Um, I think these are perfect for summer. Please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.